Tonight's next in inductee knows something about lists. Please welcome Mike Sheehan. It's a nice old shot. Mike Sheehan, congratulations. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Michael. Um, that boy, Steve Harris, was my uh, phone man at the Hobart Mercury in 1971. He went a long way, didn't he? <laughs> I knew he'd catch me. I always looked after him as a kid. Now, listen, you, what we, are, we know you for the AFL player rankings. What does, what does it mean to you to now be on the list of the 80 most influential Victorian media figures? Look, listening tonight, the compelling hour and a half that we've had, I mean, my first five years as a journo was spent working on the Werribee banner. And I mean, I'm looking out at these guys tonight and those who have been inducted, and it's just overwhelmingly humbling to, uh, well, I think I joined them. I mean, that's what officially it's like. But I just sort of, they still seem to be my heroes. So many of the blokes have been, uh, and the women that have been uh, inducted tonight. So it's a uh, massive honour for me. Uh, massive honour to share it with my family and my partner uh, and my great mentor and friend, Jeff Slattery. So I am very humbled. And Steve Harris uh, was talking about all those journalists, those cadet journalists who wanted to become the next Mike Sheehan. What advice does Mike Sheehan give to those young journalists? Don't. There were a lot of times on the way through where I thought, why would anyone want to be me? I mean, there were times when there were lots of ups and then Peter Blunden had sealed me onto another story that got me into trouble and Julian had put oil, uh, pour oil on the waters and I would go back and sort of renew the, my enthusiasm for the job. And I think um, if I sort of look back on it now, which I do because I've just retired effectively from mainstream journalism, I think the thing that I'm most proud of is that I've maintained my love for the game and hopefully my relevance for the industry. Mike, top job. Congratulations. Thank you, Michael.